Hello, Hello everyone. <laughs> Lovely seeing you again. So nice seeing you as well. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Yes, I'm sorry. It's very dark in here, but I'm trying my best with this little light. <laughs> no, this is okay. You know, it's very dark too. So I've, I've tried definitely to switch on all lights here. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm from home and you're from home. And we're going to go exactly. through, you know, um, a, a big, big, big question. You know, we're receiving, you know, always the same question. So what can we do to feel good and look good? Mm. Especially in this very, very special moment that we all need to wear a mask. And we will wear it for quite a of while. Of course, yeah. But we <laughs> want, everybody wants to look good. And we need to select the appropriate makeup products according to what we're going through yes and karen because i know you i follow you you know that i'm in love with your photograph with your photos <laughs> thank your, you your great photograph of paris okay your blog thank is paris you. in four months and according to your style according to uh, the pictures that you are taking of paris and, mm. and, and the people in the street uh, i can imagine that you're first in love with paris very in, much so, yes. <laughs> in love with France. And what I would like to offer you tonight is a, what I call a Parisian look. So I mean something as class, as subtle, as um, elegant mm. uh, as your, uh, your photos. Because your Thank photos you. is all about elegance, refinement, uh, less is more. And I just love them. Thank you so much. <laughs> and because you look like that, you know, just just quite, you know, perfect. <laughs> so That's let's... very kind of you. No, but this is the truth, really. This is really how I feel. And I would like your people when they, and all the women all over mm. the world, uh, when it comes to, you know, pamper yourself, to, to feel good, it means to look good. Of course. Uh, uh, you, you need to select the appropriate product. And for you, for this Parisian full look, uh, and according to, you know, uh, that we all wear the mask, yeah. we will concentrate on the eye makeup. Perfect. We will select a very, very clever and smart, you know, product for the complexion. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end, I have a, a secret, a gift, you know, for Ooh. all of you, all of you guys. Sounds very interesting. Exactly. So let's start. Yes. We cannot wait. Okay, you did prepare, you know, your skin. Uh, I work. did prepare my skin uh, from what I learned a few weeks ago together with, with you guys and I also uh, prepped my skin with this SOS primer. Ah, um, you already did everything. Oh, you I did this. Very... I cheated a little bit with this one because I felt like I needed a, a base to start with since I'm sitting here without any makeup on. <laughs> okay, great Karen. You're doing extremely well. So first, you know, as long as we're going to concentrate, of course, you need to uh, use, you know, the appropriate skincare products mm. as long as you want your makeup to look natural, elegant, okay, and long-lasting. Yes. Uh, second, you know, as long as we're going to concentrate on, you know, the eye makeup, mm. uh, I always suggest, okay, this is my favorite product at the moment. This is the Total Eye Lift. Love it. So do not hesitate to use your eye treatment. So the Total Eye Lift is... You know, it, it does everything to me, mm -hmm. you know, uh, dark circles, puffiness, lines, the hydration. So just a, an amazing, you know, uh, eye product, eye mm -hmm. care product. So just a little bit on the lower lid, upper lid. Okay. Even on the flat, that's it. Just to prepare, you know, the eye contour. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to start with the complexion. And you're right, you did use... So what is your concern? Why did you use the SOS primer number four, green? So a very smart man told me that this uh, will, <laughs> will help with a little bit of redness because I think you can um, imagine that like around here and around here and sometimes here and here, I go a little bit red since I have a red undertone in my skin. So I really want something to sort of uh, set me off with a good base before I go in with anything else. You're not the only one, you know, sweetheart, because so many women, because of the mask, because mm. you're wearing the mask all day long, it does create some irritations. So uh, if you have a little bit, you know, of redness mm. you know, around the nose, around the mouth, or where you definitely, the mask is really touching and yeah. irritating the skin. Okay, forget about the redness. Thank you, the <laughs> SOS primer, number four, green. 
So just a very tiny amount. You know that green makes disappear any redness. Yes. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's the complementary color of the red. If you want mm -hmm. to make it disappear red, you need to apply a little bit of green mm -hmm. on top of any redness. So mine is brand new. So I just want to show all of you because you don't have to be scared by the fact that it's green. Okay. So this is the one. Mm -hmm. This primer, it's a primer, okay? This primer is going to correct the redness because of the green pigment. It's yes. going to even your complexion. It's going to brighten the complexion. Mm. Okay, it's going to add extra radiance and luminosity. It's going to correct the redness, as I told you before, and it's going to take care of the moisture level, moisture level of your skin for 24 hours. 24 hours Amazing. of hydration. Why? Because it does contain, okay, all, you know, Clarence Maker products are infused with plant extract. Mm -hmm. And this one is infused with the white lily, which is going to really moisturize your skin for 24 hours. <coughs> I'm sure, Karen, sorry. I'm sure that you are very concerned about the skincare product you are using, but also the makeup products that you are applying on the top of your favorite skincare product. Uh, definitely, because I can see um, every now and then I'm starting to break out right where the mask is covering my face. So, so this is key. You know, when your skin is sensitive and fragile, okay, uh, mm. use very, very uh, good makeup products. And that's the reason why I'm always saying, you know, Clarins makeup uh, are made for skin. Yeah. They're all infused with plants. So what for? To take care of your skin. The objective is to make you look good, beautiful, feminine, but it's going, the, the objective of our makeup is really to take care of your skin. It prolongs the benefits and the action of your, your skincare treatment. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why uh, we infused all our uh, formulas with plant extract. So you just apply a very tiny amount of this SOS primer, mm -hmm. great. And when you blend it on the top of your skin, you can see that it does disappear. It doesn't make you look green. Okay, no, it doing, did not do that makeup. at all. <laughs> There's nothing to do with Halloween makeup, okay? So just the green, uh, light co the green color correctors mm. are going to make disappear all, you know, the redness that you can see on your skin as long mm. as the skin is irritated or sensitive. Yeah. Okay. Very and tiny I already enough. applied it around my nose here, on my chin. Exactly. You can apply it just locally where it's mm. needed. Okay. No need to apply all over the face and you will never look like a Martian. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't look great at all. When you use the corrector, the SOS primer, number four, green for redness. So then we're going to, I, I, ha I have selected for you yes. uh, an, an amazing, yeah, an amazing product which is not a foundation. Mm -hmm. It is not a foundation, it's a complexion perfector. This is what I call a complexion perfector because you're going to see it looks like your skin. It doesn't look like foundation at all. I'm talking mm -hmm. about the Milky Boost. Yes. Milky right. Boost, why Milky Boost? Because once again, when you look at the formula, you can see that the formula looks white. It's infused. It's, it is infused with peach milk mm -hmm. and infused, the peach milk is going to nourish and smooth, smooth, smooth the skin and then is enriched with uh, organic kiwi extract to give you the energy, to energize your skin, mm -hmm. energize your cells. So it, it's really, you know, a kind of treatment, you know, for your skin and at the same time, when you apply, you know, it looks white because of the yeah. texture. Yeah, I just and applied you, some here as well. Yes, and when you blend it, it definitely match according to your skin tone. Mm. Should I start applying it, you think? Exactly. So if you can take a tiny amount, just mm -hmm. apply from chin, cheeks, forehead, few dots. Okay. Yes. And the cheeks. And the cheeks? Yes, chin, cheeks, forehead. Great, you know, it looks, it looks white. And then you're going to smooth it out with large, soft movements. You can do it with both hands or mm. one hand up to you, yeah. And blend it very softly from the center to outwards without, you know, tightening your skin. Because once again, we need to pamper the skin. Okay, once again, lovely. Which shade are you using, by the I'm way? I'm using number three. 
Okay, then, but for it, it, it does match perfectly, you know, your skin tone. Oh, that's amazing. And they're really nice because you're quite fair, but mm. I think, it, you know, your skin is going to look good if you warm it up slightly. Yeah. Um, okay, you are doing extremely well. Just a few drops where it's needed. It blends instantly. It does create a perfect, even, uh, extremely radiant complexion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that it's not so thick. I really want something that is light. And especially when you're wearing the mask, you don't want like a huge layer of foundation, I feel. No, and you know why I did select, you know, this product? Because it's it's not, you know, so concentrated in colored pigments. Okay. That's the reason why first it looks so natural. It's so light. And because the quantity, the percentage of pigments, it's quite, you know, low. Yeah. So it will definitely resist uh, uh, um, to your mask. So it's not going to transfer, you know, that much, just like a tinted moisturizer with a lot of color or with your foundation, with a lot of pigment. So mm -hmm. this one is going to stay on your skin and it's going to leave, you know, your mask, you know, uh, very clean. At the end of the application, so you're doing extremely well, it's enough. I think, you know, you're going to look too beautiful. You know, <laughs> Carrie. So you just warm up your hands, mm -hmm. another secret, and you're just going to press slightly all over the face, mm -hmm. that technique is going to even and set your complexion product. And it's going to relax all your features. So even, you know, sometimes you're in a hurry in the morning, so mm -hmm. you don't have that much time to blend uh, perfectly. So just warm up your hands and just like pressing movement to even and set the product. And it looks like your skin, a second skin. How does it feel on your skin? It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything, actually. It feels like I'm just wearing moisturizer. So I'm really intrigued exactly. here. It's just like wearing a moisturizer. Mm. That's, you know, this is the class difference once again. Okay, makeup made for skin. Yeah. Excellent. So now we're going to add a little bit of instant concealer. Yes. Of, you know, the concealer, exactly. Instant concealer number one, I think this is your shade. The shade that mm -hmm. you received. Number one, a very tiny amount, okay? And just start once again to get rid of any tiredness, okay? We are working very hard at this moment. We don't sleep that well. So we always need a touch of a highlighter, a corrector. Mm, definitely, yeah. So just a little bit on the inner corner and where it's needed. Mm. Very, very tiny. It blends, you will see, it blends instantly enough. And okay. you just apply it, make it blend by light pressing, you know, movements. Very light pressing, it's going to blend instantly onto your Milky Boost, number three. Okay, you're doing well. Very, 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 very lightly, once again, no need to. Okay, excellent, you're doing extremely well. <laughs> yeah, you have to guide excellent. me. I've never done my makeup in already. the light before, so I'm so nervous. It's already blended. <laughs> Yes, uh, yes right? on the second eye, great. Once again, keep going, okay? It blends instantly onto your Milky Boost. Mm -hmm. And it does really mm -hmm. brighten your eye contour very, very quickly. Smooth, soothe your, uh, the eye contour, the skin of the eye contour. Excellent, very nice. Very good. How does it feel again? Very light. Very light, very, very light. light. And once again, I like, you know, when the concealer, the instant concealer, I like the result because it doesn't look like you, you did apply a concealer. Okay, when you, mm. you, you, you have this very thick or heavy or difference of color of the concealer, uh, it doesn't look that nice. It has to blend into your foundation, a complexion product, okay, uh, and into your skin tone. Definitely. Excellent. Yeah. So step number three. So we're going, once yes. again, we don't need to forget that you, we are going to wear the mask. So we're going to set, you know, the complexion product mm -hmm. by using the mattifying. Ooh, <laughs> my favorite new box. <laughs> uh, I, I, I love this one. I love this one. This is a compact powder, a mattifying and smoothing, you know, powder. Mm -hmm. Uh, the name is uh, the uh, Kit Spore Ematite. So it's pore mm -hmm. mattifying, it's pore perfecting mattifying kit. It's a kit because look at that, you have the sponge applicator here, but just under mm. the sponge applicator, you have the ah. absorbing papers. Yeah. 
absorbing papers, absorbing papers here mm. to be used during the day if you want to get rid of any shine or once again, if you want really to fix your complexion, we want to make sure that it's not going to transfer in your mask, you can just yeah. absorb very, very, very quickly any excess of perspiration, of sebum. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is done. This paper is made with bamboo powder. Same as, you know, the powder, the white translucent powder. It's made, it's infused with bamboo powder, really to mattify, fix, and perfect your skin. So right away, you can use your powder brush. You take yes. a little bit, it's totally, yeah, it's totally translucent, surely translucent. So this powder uh, is really the good one for all skin tones. And then mm -hmm. you just slightly press where it's needed. So on the T-zone, just to get rid of any shine and to set your complexion. I'm doing the brush same. brush is so <laughs> soft. <laughs> you know, I'm doing it because I love, so nice. I love the feeling of the Clarins Makeup Brushers. That's so soft. Yeah, I could just sit like this all day. Yes, exactly. This is really great. And you just always insist, you know, on the, the nose, on the air of the nose, forehead, a little bit here. Great. Mm. And it's enough. And I love it because it's, it doesn't look like a powder. It's like silk. Yeah, I don't even feel like I'm wearing anything. No, it's like silk. It doesn't leave any powdery finish on your skin. So which I'm in love with because I don't like this powdery And this finish. is also something, sorry. This is also something that would go in my handbag all the time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Very easy to carry in your handbag. You have a two-in-one product. Mm -hmm. So practical and so efficient. So every woman should carry the pore mattifying, perfecting <laughs> uh, kit. Definitely. So now Definitely. Let's, let's give a little bit more structure to the face and let's, let's mm -hmm. warm it up. You know, in, in a French style, in a Parisian style. So we're going to use, mm. we're going to use the Jolie Blush, the number eight, Mocha. Okay. Yes. It looks a little bit adventurous because when you look at it, oh my God, it's quite intense. What shall I do yeah. with that? <laughs> <laughs> and when I'm, uh, I love this product. You know why? Because I use it as a bronzer a bronzing powder yeah. and a blusher. So we're going to start okay. by using it as a bronzer. So you just take a little bit with, you know, your blush brush. Okay, mm -hmm. it's easier. Just take a little bit. And you're going to start by applying just down to the cheekbone a little bit. Then you're going to blend towards the temple. Yes, you're doing great. Just to give you a little bit more structure and to warm up the old complexions from down to the cheekbone. Blend it upwards mm -hmm. to the temples. Same on the outer corner, on the, the other side, sorry. Yes. Oh, this is good. Looks really good. Same on the other side. You're doing extremely well. Down to the cheekbone. Yes. Blend to the temple. Wow. We can see it perfectly now. Add a little more. You know, I'm so focused head. looking in the mirror. So you have to tell me if I'm doing it right. <laughs> no, you're doing perfectly well. Right. Really. And you know that. You have a good lighting because we can see very well, look at the results and the color, the shade. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of the forehead here and a little bit of the chin. And then you can blend all over the face just to warm up, you know, the old complexion very slightly with what you still have on the brush without adding that much. Okay. And now, okay, you can use it as a blusher. So you're going to take a slightly more and you're just going to dab just on the cheekbone. Okay. Yes, just on the cheekbone here, just to give a touch of sunny reflection. Yes, like I've been on the beach today. Exactly. It's, it's really good, perfect. Thank you, Karen. So you like it? You, I, I do think that this warm, you know, to warm up the complexion, always make, you know, most of the women extremely, you know, elegant and refined. You don't mm. look made up, but you look, you know, elegant, warm, and um, extremely feminine. Very nice, Karen.
Good, we can see it very Thank very you for the guidance. <laughs> Excellent. So now, now that the complexion is finished and quite polished, mm -hmm. so let's uh, play a little bit with the brows. Do not forget that, they, you know, with the mask, okay, this is the only part that we're going to see, okay, eyes mm. and brows. Uh, so I did select for you the Brow Duo. Uh, this product yes. is really good. And, you know, it's a two-in-one product. On one side, you have a powder, and then on the other side, yeah. so on one side, you have the powder, Okay, if you mm -hmm. need to add extra, you know, color to the brows, you are missing a little bit of brows, mm -hmm. which is not the case for you. And then on the other side, you have a tinted <laughs> gel. You have a tinted yes. gel. Okay, so remove a little bit, you know, the excess of, of the brush, if you have any excess. Mm -hmm. And I would like you just to use this tinted gel, tinted gel, just to tint the brows slightly and to fix them. I think it's more than enough. So you don't need to use both textures for you because mm -hmm. we're looking for a natural, elegant, you know, uh, makeup. So you can mm -hmm. just apply, brush up the brows. Exactly. You're going to see, you're going to slightly tint the brows in a very soft yeah. and elegant way. It's not going to be too much. And at the same time, you're going to fix the brows. And it does last for 12 hours. So even Ooh. if you're you know, sweating because of the mask, even if you are touching the brows during the day, it's going, the brows are going to stay perfect. Super long lasting. That is something, I cannot leave the house without brushing my eyebrows. So that's perfect for me. Exactly, you know, most of the women, some women, you know, they don't use that much you know, brow products because they think that it makes the brows a little bit more too intense too hard, harsh mm. and, and look at you the, the, this shade which is the number one number one blonde is ideal yeah. if you're looking for very natural brows perfectly designed mm. and a, a, a very long lasting you know brow makeup so we are ready to start the eye makeup now yes okay and we did select once again we are I wanted to definitely afford you, afford you uh, a very French, a very Paris look. So I did select the new, the new eyeshadow, Ombre Quatre Couleurs, yes. and the shade here, which is the shade number three, Flame Gradation. They are all mm -hmm. warm tones, all warm tones. And once Perfect. again, they're going to enhance the beautiful blue color of your eyes. So I'm going to play with a little bit of contrast. So, mm -hmm. <coughs> so the first, you know, the, the first shade that I would like you to use, uh, you're going to use the highlighter, the lightest color here. And this one can, right uh, here. Either you can use the, the applicator or you can use mm -hmm. the, the eyeshadow brush. Oh, just take the big one because we, I, we, I want to make it very soft. So you, you, we have yeah. two Clarins eyeshadow brush. You have the eyeshadow brush, the smaller one, and the blender. We're going to use the mm -hmm. blender, the bigger one. Perfect. The blender, you're just going to take a tiny amount mm -hmm. and going to apply it all over the mobile lid. All, all over, over the, the lid. lid. Okay. Yeah, all over the mobile lid. This one. Mm -hmm. That's it. The objective is really to highlight, to open up the eye. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Very good. I can see that definitely, yeah. It's more than enough. Great. You can do the second eye now. Mm -hmm. Or either, or if you want to keep, you know, just on one eye, up to you. Yes. Just the mobile oh. lead. All of the mobile lead. Excellent. The second shade that we're going to select right after. Good. Mm -hmm. And if you can come closer, you are going to show to all the followers how, you know, this highlighter does reflect the light in a very soft and elegant way. It's not too, it's not too much spark. There's not too much sparkles or glitters. It does really, really highlight in a very soft and elegant way. Mm -hmm. Second shade that we're going to use, uh, we're going to use this one, the orange 
tone here. Uh, we can yes. use, yes. This one, right? Yeah, the, exactly this one. Mm -hmm. We're going to use, you know, a smaller brush, just take a very tiny amount because it's rich in pigment and it does contain, you know, it's not just an eyeshadow, it's an eyeshadow and a primer at the same time. Okay. Yeah, so that's the reason why we didn't apply any primer on the lid. Mm. Thanks to the bamboo, you know, powder, this eyeshadow is uh, is really a primer. It's going to prep your uh, your um, eyelid, and it's going mm. to last uh, for the whole day. It's never going to crease, which is really Perfect. what women are looking for. So a little bit, and you're going to Definitely. apply this color just slightly up to the crease, up to the crease, okay. a small line, and we're going to blend in a very soft and discreet way just to create a shadow over the mobile lid, mm -hmm. just to open up the eyes and to warm up the look and enhance the blue color of your eyes. Yes, you're doing very well, just all over the crease, along the crease, and then you mm -hmm. can blend it upwards till you know the color disappear into your natural eyelid skin tone. Yeah, you can add a little bit more because the light ticking the mm -hmm. is quite strong. It's so pigmented, sure so I'm so scared of putting too much. No, never. You know, it's that's the reason why I'm always saying, okay, start start by applying a little. It's better and it's yeah, easier and to it add up. than to uh, take too much and to try to blend and to remove. Okay, so now because mm. you want to blend, so you can take a paper tissue, carry mm -hmm. you. You can clean your brush to make sure that you don't have any more, any excess of eyeshadow, any excess of mm -hmm. color. And now that your brush is clean, you're going to be able to be able to blend it perfectly without adding any color. So now, okay, the blending is very, very easy. Very soft. So you blend. And yes, excellent. Very good. Do you like it? Very nice. Yes, I love it. Let me put on my glasses. Yes, very <laughs> nice. You can blend even more a little bit in the in the corner here. But not, don't add. Don't add any color. Okay. Don't add I'll any color. Off. Just blend with a take clean brush. Yes, just to make, to make it as soft as possible. Excellent. Mm -hmm. The blending is key. Very nice. You just created okay we're going to do second ice you, we just mm -hmm. have created you know this very light shadow okay same color up to the crease once again on open eye perfect you know exactly where you're applying the color it's so okay first, yeah yeah this is good so when you have enough color intensity once again mm -hmm. remove the excess you know with the paper paper tissue you know from yeah. the brush and now you're going to be able to blend without adding any color. So now you can mm -hmm. blend and don't be scared of blending because the texture is so soft, the texture blends by itself. What do you think? Do you think it's quite, it's easy to, to apply and to blend? What do you think? It's about very that? easy to work with because sometimes I feel like once you add eyeshadow, it just sticks to your eye. But this one, I feel, moves around quite easily when you when you exactly. blend it. So it's really it's nice. It's really blending very, very, very easily. So now you have to check both mm. sides to make sure that they... Yeah, this one is a little bit more... Yes, you, you need to add a little bit more on the second eye. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, we have a follower. She's saying very easy application. So we have a fan of the color <laughs> Ombre Quatre Couleurs. <laughs> We're using at the moment with Karen, uh, the number three, flame gradation, warm tones, uh, just warm up, okay, the, uh, oh, beautiful. It, it does definitely uh, help you to create a very elegant eye makeup. So now, because of course we have four shades. So we're going to oh. use so the, we're going to use now the shade number three, which is this one, just the color and uh, you know, the one that we have just applied at the moment. This one? Yes, exactly, which is a copper mm -hmm. with a light touch of red, very little. Mm -hmm. We're going to apply you know, this color once again, you know, just on the outer corner, along the lashes, on the outer corner of the eye, like this, a very tiny amount. With the same brush? Yes, as long as your brush is clean, mm -hmm. 
you can keep use you know this brush you close and you apply just along the lashes on the outer corner a little bit once again it's going to warm up the old look with this light copper color it's a satin you know shade and it's going to give you back a, a, a touch of light, a very subtle light in this warm mm. tone. Oh yes, I can see, it looks nice. Looks nice. And once again, you blend inwards. Yes, very good. Okay, enough. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. And we can do exactly the same on the second eye. Very good, mm -hmm. Karen. I wish I had your hands here to help me, but... Uh... Ah, it's very easy, you know, you close, you just apply the color and you just blend along the lashes and you just blend, that's mm -hmm. it. Like this. You're doing extremely well, Karen. Thank you. Very well. I have to and say, you know, it's, very, text, it's, it it's a product that is very easy to work with. Exactly, the texture does help a lot, okay? Even if you're yeah, not you're a master in makeup, a professional makeup artist, uh, it's mm. so easy, the blending is very easy. I'm always saying that uh, those eyeshadows, okay, they blend by themselves. So you, you really mm. don't need any special skill uh, to, to be able to realize a very nice eye makeup, really. The final touch. The final touch, Karen, yes. we're going to use, okay, just to show that even four colors, with four colors, you can look just beautiful and very, you can achieve very natural eye makeup. We're going to select mm. the darkest shade, which is a matte shade. This the one. Dark, right? Exactly, yeah. the darkest shade, which is a matte shade. And you're going to use a very thin brush. Do you have the, mm, the definer brush? Exactly, very, very thin. You're going to take a very little very very mm -hmm. little amount and you're just going to apply uh, on the lashes okay on the lashes roots uh, on the lower lid so on when you lid. use any eyeliner on the lower lid just a little bit of eyeshadow of matte eyeshadow okay so mm -hmm. just along the yeah along the lashes on the lower lid just the outer, the outer corner no need to apply all over the lid but just on the outer corner yes nice mm -hmm. perfect let me see. Yes, very nice. Okay. Yes, it's good. okay. Yeah, yes, excellent. So you know what you can do at the end? You can do, take your blender. You can take the, uh -huh. the blender brush, which is clean, and you can blend. You can blend very, do not hesitate to blend. Blend it, blend it, blend it. Yes, blend it to make it as soft as possible. Okay, very nice. Good. It's okay. Okay, second eye, so your eyes yeah. become bigger and bigger. So the second eye, once again, yeah. a very, very tiny amount along the lashes on the outer corner, mm -hmm. on the lashes roots, by the way. And then once again, as long as, as, long, as, long as it's a very long lasting eyeshadow, uh, it's going to stay the all day, okay? Once again, we're looking for uh, more intense eye makeup but we want an elegant eye makeup, a warm, warm eye makeup. And okay, you blend it with the blender. Yes, great. Excellent, very good. Ooh, okay, I can okay. breathe. <laughs> okay, Karen, you have to come and work with me. Oh, please, uh, yes, we need to know this. <laughs> yes, next Wednesday, I have you know, a, foot, a shooting, okay? You can come with me and help me. And learn even more. You're a pro, you're a pro. Oh, please. So now, another yes. touch we need to enhance you know the eyes once again because of the mask so you're going to take the waterproof eyeliner pencil love it super long lasting mm -hmm. once again very easy to apply you can see that it's very very thin it's very easy it's very precise for the application yeah okay once again you're going just to close your eyes you lift very very slightly the eyelid and you're going to apply on the lashes root that's it along the lashes as close to the mm -hmm. lashes as possible a very thin line the objective is just to enhance the eye shape that's it it's not to draw mm -hmm. a line 
So just a long lashes and you just apply it a long lashes, very, very little. Excellent. And once again, you just concentrate on the outer corner of the eye. Don't concentrate on the inner corner, just the outer corner. Okay. Let me see. Yes, very good. Enough. Yeah. This is enough. Perfect. So don't worry, guys. Okay. Don't try to do a very sophisticated line or whatever. You don't need that at all. Just. Yeah, I'm so happy we're not perfect. doing that during a live because that would take me about two hours. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay, let's do the second eye, Carrie, now. Yeah. Once again, you take the second one, just on the lashes roots, very tiny amount of the lashes roots. Mm. Yes, doing well. Oh, it's a very nice image, by the way. We can see perfectly the application. Oh, I hope. No, no, this is really good. We can see it perfectly well. As you can see, you know, you don't need to press too much to apply no, this. Tell us, yes, what do you think about this? It literally goes on so smooth. If I just touch the little, little bit, uh, it, it colors it. So it's really, really easy to use, to be honest. Exactly. The payoff is just amazing. So the, the color, you, mm. know, you, you just press and it does definitely show immediately, okay, the line. So you don't need to. It's very good for the eye contour. As you know, that eye contour is very sensitive, very fragile. So this waterproof eyeliner pencil is so soft. And so it glides on texture. You don't need to, to really be too harsh when you apply. Find it's good for someone who's usually a little bit scared of eyeliner. And I think I'm one exactly. of those people. <laughs> because you, you just dab a little bit and the line is done, you know? So this is... Yeah. Really, really a mistake proof eyeliner pencil, waterproof eyeliner pencil. Very long lasting, waterproof. We did select waterproof because we want this eye makeup to keep the same and beautiful for the whole day. And that's the reason why we did select the 4D mascara waterproof again because of the mask, you know, with the, the, the respiration, you, okay, the perspiration, mm. it does affect the eye makeup. That's the reason why, guys, tonight. We just select waterproof mascara, waterproof eyeliner pencil, and long lasting eyeshadow with a primer inside uh, into the formula. So, two in one product because we want the eye makeup to be very long lasting, to last the whole day because of the mask. So, mm. I love this mascara. So, show us because the texture is very fluid. The brush definitely separates the lashes, and you're going to apply it from the roots till the tip, down mm -hmm. to up, just to lift up, to curl, and to make the lashes as long as possible. Yes, very nice. I and always make the funniest faces. I'm gonna try to look normal while I do this. Do, do not worry, Karen. Old women, old women, you know, when you apply mascara, everybody is doing. Don't the funniest face, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is the funny part of the makeup. No problem. So what do you think about this mascara application? You don't need to apply and reapply uh, 12 times. It does really gain the lashes right away. Definitely, oh. yeah. This is beautiful. Okay. Would you recommend just... doing on the under lashes as well or only no, the upper lashes? we just concentrate on the upper lashes. It's enough. Because mm -hmm. underneath, we did apply the eyeshadow. It's enough. Okay. Once again, because of the mask, okay, we have, you know, some perspiration here. So we don't want to stabilize the eye makeup. Just upper mm. lashes to lift up the eyes and to open the eyes. Okay, great. And once again, this is not just, you know, a mascara, Karen. This is a lash treatment. This is a primer for oh. the lashes. Yeah, this is a primer for the lashes and a mascara. It does include into this formula, the Lash Boosting Complex, which is an association of different ingredients to make your lashes thicker, to make sure that your lashes are going to grow faster and longer. So it's mm. a real lash treatment. This is not just a waterproof mascara. And sharing the cake, it's very easy to remove with a biphasic, you know, eye makeup remover. So you don't need definitely to be very aggressive to for rub too much, your yeah. eye makeup uh, removing uh, session. Okay, you can keep be very soft. It, it's very easy to remove with the right eye makeup remover. What do you think, mm. Karen? It looks beautiful. 
I really like it. I really like the warm tones. It goes really well with autumn and all the colors and knitted sweaters and everything. <laughs> yeah, it, it does definitely suit you. And it, once again, it's feminine, it's warm, it's elegant and refined. Final mm. touch. It's not because we have to wear a mask that we have to forget the lips. You know, so many women at the moment, they don't really take care of the lips because they say, okay, anyway, there's no, there's no way to apply any lip product or any lipstick because we're wearing this mask. So I have this mm. is a gift for all of you tonight. So that's the reason why, Karen, I did select for you our famous, okay, lip stain. And I did select two colors because I wanted to create... Yes, I can see. Yes. So I did select the two water lip stain. One is red and the other one is orange. Once again, because I wanted to make the red a little bit warmer. So this is okay. the water. And why I did select, you know, the water lip stain is just because it does resist to more than 300 kisses. And if it oh. does resist to more... 300 to 300 cases it means that it's super long lasting and non-transfer so you can make it very soft with just a little bit yeah. of texture you remove a little bit the excess you just apply in the middle of the lower lip and you press your lips and it's okay so you start with the red one yes mm -hmm. yeah just never start by the 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 lip contour just start by the middle of the lower lip Okay, a little bit of the color, and then you press your lips. Yeah. And it goes where you need. You need this product to go. Okay, you can add a little bit more because I want to see a little bit more on the screen, slightly more. Excellent, very good. How does it feel on your lips? Because it's like applying water. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like I have anything on my lips actually. Yeah, exactly. This is, you know, once again, the big difference. It's like water that you are mm. putting on your lips. It's enriched with aloe vera. So it's going to really moisturize your lips and take care of your lips. Mm. <clears throat> so now, just add a little bit of the orange one. Once again, on the lower lip, in the middle, mm. just warm up the red tone. Yes, excellent. Good. Press your lips. This is done. So as long as you're looking for something quite soft, elegant, a bit neutral, uh, this is absolutely perfect. Now you can make, you know, your lips definitely much more, in, much more intense. If you apply a second layer of both, you can make your lips really, really, really deep intense in color. But this is not the objective of tonight. I just wanted to make your lips very soft, very, very, very natural. And when the water lip stain, you know, is dry. You can take, you know, a paper tissue. You can definitely give a kiss and you will see it's non-transfer. It doesn't print on your paper tissue. Or you want me to try? You want me glass? to give it a go? Is, is it dry? It, because it dries very quickly. It dries very quickly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very quickly. It's like, just like water. So just try, okay. Show us. I cannot see. Okay, can you see? Exactly. So this is the secret of the night because there's no reason not to look feminine, to look elegant with nothing on your lips. Even if we are all wearing a mask, you can still, you know, use the water lip stain. Mm. Okay, you can mix them. You can play with them in a very soft and natural way as Karin just did at the moment. Or you can make your lips deep, intense in color if you apply uh, two layers of, the, you know, the water lip yeah. stain. But the, the secret is it does last all day and it's non-transfer at all. So that's the product to be used during that period. So Carrie. Yes, it's perfect. What do you think? How do you feel? How does it feel? I feel great and I feel like I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, which is my goal during these days because I don't want to have like a cakey face um, with wearing a mask and everything. So it feels perfect. And it looks very good, okay, because you have a very strong lighting. We can see that beautiful glow of very healthy skin. Very Yeah, healthy it's also maybe because I'm so warm in this cardigan, but... <laughs> so we can see that beautiful glow. So thank you, guys. So thank you, Karen. Thank you so much for having for me. For really trusting me and trusting, you know, Clarence makeup made for skin. 
uh, to realize, okay, this warm, elegant Parisian look for fall. And uh, we did select appropriate products according to the mask that we are all wearing yes. at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you, Karen. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank, thank you, everyone, much. for watching. We're going to write down, you know, all products that Karen did use, you know, for this live. And you will find, you know, and we can definitely look at the video again on the IGTV. And you will receive the list of all products that we have used. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Karen. Do not thank forget you. To have a good evening. Do not forget to send me your, your latest pictures, okay? Photographs. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye. Bye.